Hello guys and welcome to another Final Fantasy Brave XPS video. Um, today we got the new stages for the Vision World, so I'm just gonna do the last two. I already watched Sinsar's strategy and I'm gonna pretty much use his strategy. Just change some units, like instead of bars I'm gonna use Bulwark because why not? I mean, best bird, you know? Right? But yeah, also my Iron is just X1, but uh, as you all saw on Sinsar's video, it doesn't matter. So yeah. Uh, so this is the first party I'm gonna use. I'll show the G in a bit, I guess. But it's gonna be turn 3. So Vinera can use uh, accuracy down. So she's gonna use Shadow Serpent for the Mirage. And everyone else can just wa guard. No one else needs to do anything this turn. And then... <clears throat> Since she countered with the accuracy down, as you can see, for this accuracy, she can go back to the base form and use Marauder's Braid. Aaron is gonna use his Magnus. Bulwark is gonna use. The only reason he's here is for Tempest Tempo. Regina is gonna Machine Model. Carton is gonna Fist in Peril. And Sun is going to... He's going to crit on Carton, crit on Regina to get the killer and the boss, and then he's gonna project the mute. Then... On turn 3, Carton is gonna shift and he's just gonna use Feral Frenzy. Sun is going to triple bolting. Regina is gonna use Curse Current from the Esper. Binera is gonna use Violent Current from the Esper. Aaron is going to limit burst. And Bulwark has nothing to do. So, we're just gonna send the Curse this one and then everyone else I guess oops I sent forward to oh what well, it's fine and there we have it's not as powerful as the Sinsaros Cliff, but my Auron is just X1. You can see here, Carton can do all it by himself, you don't need Auron. And Bulwark did something. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it for this one. And since I just unlocked the... Since I just cleared this one, I just won't... The, the next one is just gonna be unlocked. So, I'm gonna cut the video for a bit to get the other one, and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, so I didn't know, I thought the, the last stage also had like two trash, trash stages, I didn't know it was only one, so I didn't even need to cut it. Uh, but we're back. I'm gonna use this team, I already had it made. I'm gonna use the same ones, Carton, Regina, Sun, Binera. Uh, Sephiroth and Cleom. Well, Sephiroth is on the Sinsar video, and I'm just using Cleom instead of um, Olivera. Because I do have Olivera, but I didn't want to use him, so I just remember that she's like mini Sephiroth or something. So let's. I'm just gonna try her, I guess. But I'm gonna start with her in base form. Because this fight goes to turn 4, instead of just turn 3. So Sephiroth can use um, Five as a Spirit. She's gonna use his Limit Burst. Vinera's gonna use Shadow Serpent for the Mirage. 
Slam has nothing really to do. Regina can just use the machine model. Card then, how long is this? 5 turns. He can just curse give and sun and double the gas to create on Regina for the killer and a card then for the bottom. Then Sephiroth on this turn can use his Magnus. Venera can just her Magnus. It has accuracy done already. She can just her Magnus. Cleom, I guess he can just type as a spirit, though I think the buff will be gone by turn 4, so I don't think it matters anyway. Garden can just Somber Claw. And Sun can. I guess elemental on Carton and critical on himself to keep the buffs. And Regina can just die. Then on this turn, Kriam is going to shift and gonna use her minus. Sephiroth is gonna shift back and just dive as a spirit. Inera has nothing to do. Regina has nothing to do. Carlton has nothing to do. And Sun can project mirror. Oh, we can just do Marauder's Blade, I guess. I guess again. Then, on this turn, the last turn, Carton can shift and just fail. Sun is gonna. Uh, Sun is gonna catch me and just triple bolting. Regina is gonna curse current from Esper, so is Venera. Sephiroth is gonna shift back <coughs> and just kiss Limit Burst. And Cleam is gonna use her Limit Burst too. So now we send the flood current, oops, the two limit breaks, and the other two chains. And I think that's it. Maybe. Yep, that's it. <laughs> You need like, I think, 10 point something billion for this uh, stage for the capping. But let's see the damage cap. Well, you see, it's, you know, variants are whatever, but my Sephiroth did the, uh, 8 mil billion, Carton 6 billion, and Cleon almost 2 billion. She did, I think she did better than um, since our Solivera. <laughs> So if you have Cleom, I only have her X1, you can use her, I guess, as the third finisher. Well, no, as the second finisher, because Carton is a chain, yeah. So yeah, that's it. And that's the rank 1 for this vision world. There we go, rank 1. And... Just as an extra to not have to do any other video or anything, I'm just gonna do the free pulls because, because yeah, I'm not pulling for pain, so I have nowhere else to put this thing, so I'm just gonna put them here. Uh, Daily Rico as usual. Now these tickets, I have six of them. Let's see if I get something from it. Base, please, because I don't really have a. <laughs> well, there's a rainbow. Which is an Ellie. I'll take the Ellie. And 
then... Oops, that's the same one. Then we're gonna use this one. I only have one left. And it's gonna be... Mad sadness. I have like 24 sit hands from the free pulls. It's the only one that appears on my pulls usually. And lastly, here is the free weekly. That has a guaranteed rainbow, I think. Yep. And... Yep, another Ellie. I'll take that, I guess. And Morgana. Sadness. But yeah, anyway. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm not pulling, gonna pull for Kane because I'm not interested in him. Not, neither on Rydia. I do like Final Fantasy IV, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is Final Fantasy IX, then Final Fantasy V. So yeah. That's gonna be it for me on this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And see you guys on the next one. Later!